common question we get, well, actually you probably get more than I do since you answer a lot of the help desk stuff, is, is, <laughs> is asking about different speakers or, you know, what do you think about this speaker, you know, with this amp or whatever. Um, well, we actually, know? yeah, I mean, we, we actually, I thought what would be a really cool thing to do is I have several different speakers. Um, most of the ones I have are WGS speakers, but I, I thought if we showed the same guitar pedal through the same amp with a different speaker and, you know, mics in the exact same place, that would really show you the differences between different types of speakers. And I think that's probably one of the big things that whenever you're, uh, you know, whenever you're chasing tone, you know, as they say. It's a good place to uh, start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> speakers make a dramatic difference, more than cables, um, probably as much, if not more, probably more than the guitar or, or close to it. Yeah. I mean. Um, they can totally change your amp. Yeah, it really can. So, if, like, for example, you have a Blues Junior level, yeah. right? Didn't you, didn't you put a different speaker in it? Yeah, I put a, uh, the, the Reaper High Power uh, speaker in it, and it it, totally, it was like taking a blanket off my amp. Did totally different. Got amp. rid of the, um, the, the boxiness and everything. It's just mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, yeah, so that's that's a big thing to change. Um, and some people are a little intimidated by it. It's super easy. There's usually just a couple screws in the can speaker or a couple nuts on the backside of the speaker, and you take it out and you unplug the speaker. And, um, as long as you get the plus and the minus on, you know, mark which one's the plus, and uh, as long as you get it on the on the right tab on your speaker, and the speaker's marked, good and, to go. Uh, yeah, it's super easy. So, all right. So right now, um, I'll show you what speaker. I think it's a. I think it's a. Um, it's a warehouse or WGS uh, Veteran 30, which is like a sort of like a vintage 30 sort of sound. Um, playing through the Maxon. Um, you know what? You actually may be a better. You, you're a tube screamer fanatic. Sure. So yeah, I am. This Maxon 808 is. Um, is it's basically just a good tube, tube screamer. Cool. Now let's um, let's go out and, and uh, we'll go into the isolated room where the actual cabinet is. And we'll, uh, I actually have a bunch of cabinets that are all the same size, speakers all in the same place. And I have the carpet marked where the cabinet goes. So I can literally pull one cabinet out, plug, one, plug it in, plug a new one in, set it back in place. And it's a it dead on uh, uh, easy way to change speakers. So let's go do that real quick. All right, so here are my amps. And as you can probably hear, it's raining like crazy right now. Uh, these are my cabinets, all the same size, all made out of pine, all with different speakers. Speakers are always centered right in the exact same place. So, uh, this is the isolated room. I walk in here and I'll show you how we change it. This cabinet is what I'm running through. All I have to, you can see I have the carpet marked with tape. So, all I have to do is unplug that. I already have the amp on standby. Unplug that. Careful not to bump any microphones. Take a different cabinet. Make sure it's right where I have it placed on the tape. Plug the cabinet back in. Right. And we have the mic set up with a whole different speaker, basically in the exact same cabinet. So, uh, now we can go play through it and see how what the difference is with this one, which is a HM75 by uh, WGS. All right, so we're back with the exact same setup with the HM75 from WGS. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Cool. Let's try the next speaker. All right, and this one is the uh, it's WGS again, and it's the Alnico Black and Blue, I believe is what it's called. All right, so let's try out the next one. So this next cabinet is the WGS British Lead. Let's see what that sounds like. Check out the next one. This is the WGS Invader 50. All right, 
and the next one. All right, so this, this next one is a WGS Green Beret, which uh, is one of their standards, and it's based off of like a greenback type of speaker. <laughs> All right, so that's a ton of different speakers, all with the Maxon 808 overdrive and uh, Stratocaster, basically the same lick over and over. What, what was kind of your thoughts on it? Play, playing yeah. it, I mean, you, were you able to feel different things? The, oh, yeah. The different feels and... Especially that Green Beret, it's like way bassier, way punchier. So, I mean, it's... For me, like, I heard a, a big difference in each one. Some of you guys might not. Um, but, yeah, definitely, at least here in the room, it was... It was definitely, you could definitely hear a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, it's, it's surprising just how much of a difference that each of those speakers, Absolutely. It, it just every speaker really. I mean, and we did what we do, like, was like six, five or six speakers or whatever. Yeah. I mean, there's like tons of different choices in speakers. And oh, yeah. you know, everyone has its different sound. I mean, in fact, one green back or, you know, green beret or one type of speaker, even though they're the same kinds, they still can sound a little bit different from piece to piece. So yeah. it's uh, it, it, from that regard, it's kind of like a guitar where one strat may play great and the next strat that's the same model, like, eh, it's all right. Oh, you're talking about, yeah, different cones, yeah. I mean, yeah. rib, smooth, ceramic, you know, non-ceramic, Alnico. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's way, lots of options.